What's going on YouTube Nation? Uh, this week I'm going to answer some questions. This is about somebody that just subscribed to my channel and sent me an email. They have a degree in finance and this is their first job and they asked me some advice on what I, they should not do. And based off of my experience, I can help you guys with that. I'm going to give you 11 tips that helped me out and some things that blew up in my face that throughout my career. So things that you shouldn't do. This first one I did. Um, I'm sure everybody does it, but my first tip is don't blow your first paycheck. You know, if you have student loans, if you have uh, car payments, if you have, you know, payments or debt or credit card payments or, you know, just, I'm just trying to think of like things off the top of my head. You have bills to pay, you have something like that, you know, make sure you get that out of the way first. When I uh, had my first career job, I spent a lot of money on a watch and I pretty much killed my first paycheck. I could have put money in stocks, I could have put them in, you know, I could have invested, I could have, uh, you know, helped out with a car payment, I could have, you know, paid off car insurance or something, a monthly payment. So that's something you probably shouldn't do. The second one, I have a list here because, you know, these are th this made me think a lot. Second one is don't talk down to your previous employer. I mean, your it's your first week on the job and you start down talking your employer, people will probably judge you a little bit. I mean, there is a time to do that. I mean, don't get me wrong, I worked at my first uh, nursing job, it was, it sucked. I, I could not wait to get out of there and I jumped the moment that I had an opportunity. Then I'd say about eight months later, they called me for a job position. I pretty much hung up the phone. I didn't even want to deal with them. They tried to give me an offer that was four dollars less than what I earned. I, I'm not. I just didn't even want want to waste my time. So if you start down talking people, they're going to um, judge you right away. I mean, I, again, there, there's a time to do that, but it's not the first week when you start just blowing up and venting about your previous job, because people start thinking that you're going to do the same about them. And you know, I'm kind of judgmental I'm not gonna lie some people are and you know the moment you start talking about down talking stuff it's like it's like dating you know you, you meet somebody for the first time they're down talking this person that they dated you know first date it's kind of a turnoff you really don't want to be around this person it's kind of a deal breaker so that can be a problem with your job people are just not gonna want to be around you even if you're a really good person you're really hurt from your previous job Third one is delaying your 401k and you know your your uh, perks that you have at work. So I know some people they wait like two weeks to you know set up their 401k and all that. Well, the earlier the better with uh, setting up your health insurance, your 401k and benefits, because with the 401k you know your money makes money. They have people that you know invest in you know, companies for you or mutual funds or ETFs that grow over time, and that's gonna help you with the retirement. So a lot of people don't even understand how to put money in a 401k. So you wanna at least put like six to 7% and have somebody match about 3% to make it about nine to 10% and you're a 401k, so that's important. Fourth one, you know, this is, this is huge and, and you need to do this and make sure that you do this. Don't skip training. If you're being trained and you have to do online stuff, don't do that your first week. Because if you're behind, it's like taking calculus or you know stats. If you're behind in a week, it takes a lot to catch up. Unfortunately, with stats, if you don't catch up, you're in big trouble. But with your work, you have opportunities to uh, catch up. But it's good to set the tone early and just keep on going and going and going. So that's something you might not want to do. I can tell you um, as a nurse, we have like a thousand modules to like train for anytime you get a new job. Or if you're an accountant, it's just like filling out things. So you need to do that right away so that you get, you get the uh, ball rolling at your new job. Fifth one, this is, this is always rude. I can't stand it when people do this at meetings or you know if you're out with someone you know on a date. It's having your cell phone out the whole time it's just it's annoying it should it's disrespectful you should not have your cell phone out on people in meetings or if you're training in the middle of work I mean you got to put in effort once you put in the effort people realize that and it's it's just annoying 
you know, putting your cell phone out, you're not very focused on your job or, or your new job or anything that you're doing, you're more focused on whoever's texting you and you're not giving that person the attention. So imagine in your training, you know, you're a training instructor and you're teaching somebody how to do something and they're on their phone the whole time. Then they ask you, oh, I didn't know how to do this a week ago. Well, gee, if you had your cell phone out and if you didn't have your cell phone out, um, that would make a big difference. Six one is complain. Complaining about your job your first week. You have to be kidding me. I mean, people do this all the time. It is, it's crazy. I, I don't understand how people can get a new job and complain right away. I'm, I, I mean, people are gonna judge you right away. They're not gonna wanna be around you. They're gonna think that you're a toxic person and that's gonna cause a big problem in the long run. So there, you don't want to be called the uh, Debbie Downer or the complainer of, the, you know, your unit or your floor or, you know, your cubicle. You just don't want to be that type of person. It, it will drain people. It will drain you. It's negative energy. You do not need to start throwing out negative energy or start thinking with negative thoughts right away once you start working. Remember, you apply for the job. You probably shadowed, you interviewed, you did put all that time in to get this new job, and now you're gonna complain? I mean, come on. That's something you need to really fix. Seventh, social media. Now, if you work in healthcare, you shouldn't be posting photos on social media your first week. That'll get you fired right away. That's not a good idea. The other thing is, like, with your new job, like, if you're, you know, working in a cubicle and stuff, you know, we're, that's great that, you know, you have a new job, but you don't have to start, like, flooding your f photos and everything with everybody on newsfeed. I'm just, people like me, if I see stuff like that, I'm just going to unfollow you. I might even delete you if I haven't talked to you in years. So, you know, that's something, you know, you add new people at, you know, with your job on Facebook or social media, and then you start, you know, posting all these photos. I mean, that's great that, you know, that you're excited and stuff, but you know, don't overly do it like it's crazy and say, I have the best job ever. I mean, there's no like perfect job, so I'm just letting you know about that. Eighth, this is another one that I wrote down. I had to think about this one. Calling off work when you're not sick, especially your first week, don't do that. You're gonna kill your PTO hours. You're going to lose time and training you might even lose time in networking with people on your floors and stuff. That way you can have an opportunity to uh, bump up positions and stuff. That's just not a good idea. I mean, don't go out partying just because you got a new job. And like I said, number one, don't kill your paycheck going out partying your first week, going to the bars, taking shots with your buddies to celebrate your first job. That's not the way to go. Number nine, overstepping boundaries. As you can tell, somebody's overstepping my boundaries with the train. But you don't want to do that with people you just start working with, okay? You don't even know these people. You don't know their capabilities. It's not good to start bossing people around or tell them you know what you're doing and you're better than them or you're you know trying to put them in their place in your first week. That's just not a good idea. I mean, I, I've worked with people like that. They thought they were like the best thing since sliced bread. It's annoying. I, I don't really want to talk to them. Usually I avoid them at work. I you know, have a pretty good poker face, like, <laughs> yeah. And then I just walk away like I, I don't even know them. So, you know, that's something that uh, is an issue. Um, I, I understand that, that, you know, you have certain positions. You know, if you're like a physician and you tell a nurse something, Sure, I mean, that's not a big deal. I mean, I'm gonna listen to you. Obviously, you made it that far. You know your stuff, say like you're a pulmonologist and you say, let's do these ABGs, blah, blah, blah. Or if you're like a, um, if you're a big time manager, finance manager or something, you've been there, done that, I'm gonna listen to you because you're that good. But you know, don't try to really be controlling right off the bat. Just, you know, you gotta put your foot down. You gotta kind of show people that you're a little bit in charge if you're a manager, but don't don't overly do it just to show off your power and everything. People are not gonna like you. 10, brag about your accomplishments. 
I'll give you an example. You know, you have somebody say, oh, I went to Harvard or I went here or there for business school or law school, but, you know, and I came from this job. Well, guess what? You're starting a whole new career and a whole new position. So actions speak louder than words. So you, you have to talk the talk and walk the walk if you're going to act like that. I mean, I cannot tell you how many people I've worked with in the past. Well, I went here or I'm certified in this or I've done that. And, um, you know, they weren't that impressive. So people that act like that, you know, try to, you know, get val seek validation and stuff, you know, they probably have some insecurity issues, maybe even a personality disorder. So people are going to try to avoid you right away if you just say, well, I did this or that. I'll give you an example. One time I was in school, this is uh, when I was in exercise physiology, we took classes with a lot of nursing students. It's called a class called Biological Structure and Function. It's basically like Anatomy and Physiology 1 and 2. So, you know, we were sitting in this class, and this girl in front of us was like, oh, I know how to, I know about this exam. I know about that. And we're like, well, why? She's like, I took this class three times. And I was, like, sitting next to my buddy. Like, we, like, looked at each other like, oh, gosh. And she was in my lab, too, and she had no idea what she was talking about. So that was one thing. It's like, it's not really a good idea to brag that you retook a class three times. Another one is like, you know, I met the president or I did this and that. Well, how many people have met the president? Or, you know, I know this coach or that coach. How many people know that coach? There's got to be thousands, if not millions, that network with the coaches or, um, you know, business people for networking or trying to get the next best gig or ask for advice. So... It is what it is. You gotta talk the talk, walk the walk. Oh, this is this is my biggest one. This is like my bonus one. <laughs> I've never done this. I've seen this happen. This is this can blow up in your face and it can get ugly. My eleventh one, my eleventh tip is don't sleep with somebody you work with the first week. I've seen things get ugly. I mean, ugly. I mean, people are slandered. The person that they sleep with talks behind their back. The person that, you know, they thought that they there was an attachment issue. You know, they, they started getting a little clingy. I, I mean, it's uh, it got really weird and really awkward at work. And you do not want to be with people in an awkward situation. It, it gets really weird. I mean, I, I just remember in college, like, people dating within, like, classmates dating like classmates and it going bad and then it gets real awkward when you're in like a lab or you're doing like a physics lab and you're just standing next to the person like uh you know they're about to say something or it just gets really awkward it gets awkward for you as well being an outsider even if this didn't happen to you so you know that's something that you need to be careful of so those are my 11 tips let me know what you guys think Make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button. Hit the uh, bell button once you're done. Again, these are 11 things that I've seen happen. Uh, number one, I can just see like killing my first paycheck. I did that. Uh, my first, I did number three uh, with my newest job. And I, I waited two weeks and I delayed my 401k and I signed up. So my first paycheck, I didn't have a payment go uh, take out money for my 401k, which was kind of stupid because of snowball effect. Um, for me, also, um, uh, I think that's those are the only ones that really affected me. But you have to be a go getter with a new job. You have to be, um, you have to be focused. You have to put in the effort, and you have to, you know, follow your own principles. You know, follow good principles. Be a good person, and you will be a successful person at your new employer. Um, again, be really careful down talking former employers. You know, early because that one is um, people will judge you right away. I, I, that's something that can really blow up in your face, and you got to be careful with that. So that's my advice. Again, I want to thank uh, MLB Baseball, uh, MLBShop.com for being my uh, new affiliate. And uh, you guys have a good day and make sure that you uh, subscribe. Again, I'm going to say this one last time. Subscribe, like, and comment on this channel. 
because you guys have been really active on my channel and a lot with questions and answers. I just have done things with the NCLEX to help mentally prepare nurses. I just brought up some tips with uh, losing weight with black coffee, which I'm drinking right now. I uh, just posted up some fitness videos just for kicks of myself. And um, you know, after I'm done with this NCLEX section, I'm gonna talk about investing in stocks. I'm gonna do some videos on stocks and talk about my uh, investments that I've made. And um, really, you know, watch your 401k. I mean, your 401k is huge. That's where your money makes money. It's hard not to say that. You know, it's it's rare that that people have money that makes money. So those are things that you need to look into. All right, you guys take care. Have a good one.